It's time for Wonderful Adventure Now, Korea! The Namsan Tower Edition. Okay, let's go over our ground rules. Number one, we have to take a picture of us wanking in front of Korean idols. Number two, we have to compete to find the most creative English. And number three, we have a random showdown in which a loser suffers dire consequences. (laughs) 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 So for last week's competition, Martina picked Batus and I picked Jay Park and all of Batus beat Jay Park, unfortunately. And they crushed him. Yes, they they did. They crushed him. But Simon's Diet Piggis won. The Diet Piggis. All right, so off to Namsan Tower. Where is Namsan Tower? Where is Namsan Tower? There is Namsan Tower! Guys, you know this. Welcome to Namsan Tower. Actually, I love it. We've learned from experience last time that there can be a long lineup waiting for the cable car. So this time, mm-hmm. we're going to eat before we go so that we don't starve to death waiting in line. And here comes our food! Yay. Modem Jun. I love me some kimchi jjigae. So what did we order today? First we ordered modem jjigae, which uh-huh. just means like mixed fried stuff. So we've got like some tofu, we've got peppers, we've got probably fish balls and a bunch of stuff in there. And we also have some kimchi jjigae, which is like a <gasps> kimchi soup. Very hot, you can see it's still bubbling. Yeah! And all this other stuff that you see here came for free. That meal was delicious, but kimchi jjigae always has a possibility of leaving red specks in your teeth, so how are my teeth? Fine? Oh, they're fine. How are mine? Okay, good. I don't want us looking ridiculous on camera. To Namsan Tower! Okay, so for real, where is Namsan Tower? We know how to get there by walking from exit 3, but we tried exit 4 because supposedly there's this magical escalator that will take us there, but we can't find it. Let's continue searching, Simon, and don't die because you're coming up behind on death traps. Well, gosh, it's a good thing that we can read Korean because essentially any tourist that comes here would have no idea that this is telling them that it's the Namsan Escalator. They'd be like, where do I go at this point? Tower Slayer, you guys. You guys, seriously. Plus, we've been walking uphill for like 20 minutes. Look behind us. This is the crappiest escalator I've ever been on. I have to walk up it. Was that it there? Uh-huh. Is this the escalator I've so heard of? Is this an, like an elevator? It's kind of lame. What the heck? We have arrived and we are very close. This is the cable car right here, actually. That's pretty cool. Normally, we have to walk like up that giant mountain to the Nansan Tire Mobile. Oh my god, guys, do you know what this is? This is totally the cable car from Goblin Namja. This is the scene where Gu Jungpyo and Gun Veni fall asleep inside the cable car. Ah, I was inside of it. And then this is the view they look at. Simon, are you ignoring my Goblin Namja story? Son of a. This is the very machine. This is the one that Gun Veni bought Gu Jungpyo's coffee. Gu Jungpyo! Coffee from. Simon, we should totally reenact the whole thing together. I disagree. I think it'd be awesome. I disagree. Do you want me to turn into Eggyozilla? Don't do that. Hi. You're late. I never said I would be here on time. Well, you're here. Yeah, I was, I was really busy with lots of other stuff. Doesn't to do. matter, you still came. You look cold. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> oh, no. Get off me, you pervert. My virgin body. <laughs> You're such a gross. <laughs> an Stop it. Get your hands off me. Here's your 30,000 won coffee, Kujan Pyo. Kujan D, this isn't 30,000 won coffee, this is 50 cents from the vending machine. The view is just as good here as your Sky Lounge, you pretentious asshole. Oh, was that? Oh, nothing. Look at all the stars in the sky. <laughs> Kujan D, you idiot, those aren't stars, those are satellites. What do I possibly see in you, you jerk? What was that? Nothing. That didn't turn out like I imagined it would. It must have been because I was missing the curly hair. Hey Simon! 
There is Namzan Tower. I can't tilt up. Oh god, the camera's gonna fall on my face. We're gonna go to that special location from one of the Korean dramas where you write something special on a lovey-dovey lock and then you lock it on there and then if you lock it there, you're supposed to be forever in love together. Let's do it! Let's do it! Okay, we're all prepared. We brought our locks with our special messages. Simon, uh. Martina, and Spudgy. Spudgy has his own lock as well. The three of us are together, of course. It's a family. People that are fans of this drama are expecting to come here and lock this onto a fence, but yeah. I think the fence is gone. We got trees now. Are you ready? Let's read our messages to each other. Let's make everyone at home puke. Okay, I'm going to read mine to you first. Okay, go for it. Dear Martina, thank you for being both my wife and my best friend, whom I laugh with, live with, and love every day. Simon. Yay! Thanks, Ducky. Let me read my message to you. Go for it. Simon. Okay. Even though we've been married for almost five years, oh. it feels like we are a newly dating couple, uh -huh. sharing fresh memories and tummy tingling butterflies. Oh. I love you, my sweet Dothraki man warrior. That's me. Love, Martina. Aww. And let's read Spudgy's message. Let's see what it says. What does it say? Okay. I love my mom. Spudgy. Spudgy. That's what it says. Spudgy's <laughs> obsessed with his mom. And uh, there's a very small portrait of Spudgy. <laughs> Spudgy draws himself. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know who it was from the signature, you well, got he put, he put his E backwards and he put his G backwards. I mean, he's a dog. We're lucky he can write to begin with. How did he become so literate is what I want to know. for life. <laughs> They turn off the lights. The whole tower went off, and we're all trapped here in the pitch black. Oh, Martina, stop touching me. Oh, dear, they're grabbing me. Oh, hello, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> we're the only one with lights. Well, f turns out that the wall of locks was just above us, and they didn't actually cut down the wall like I thought they did, but they got all these locks here. They got probably like 100,000 locks, and we put it on a stupid tree. I'm crappy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I definitely have a winning English right here. If you find mechanical troubles, you can ask to the front desk. We will do our best to solve the problem. Why would you do the vest? Why okay. didn't you do the full jacket? I just want to mention Do the full I'm vest! No. Why is there, why is there not a jacket? I would do the pants if I not the vest. I could do the pants, maybe the socks, but why the vest? I found it. I stole it from me. Winner! <laughs> okay, so I picked my idol. This guy here, I'm pretty sure, is from CM Blue. I don't know his name though. But that's who I'm picking. And I'm not telling. Okay, I've chosen my English. We kindly request customers' participation and understanding into the energy saving movement for preventing the electricity disaster in winter in spite of small inconvenience. <gasps> that was all one sentence. It's the Peppero Tower Challenge Throwdown. So here are the rules. We have two minutes to yep. build the tallest tower since we are at Namsan Tower. Out of two packages of Peppero. Okay, you ready? Okay. Two minutes and counting. Okay, here we go. Oh. So that won't work very well. Okay. I already feel like I'm falling dangerously behind. Shit. Oh god, oh god. I already lost a piece. Oh my god, my whole tower fell down. You know what? This heater does suck because it's blowing shit around on my thing. Timer done. Timer done. Let go, let go, let go. That is a clear winner. Look at that. I got four layers up and you got diddly bupkis. 
I'd like to mention that this was really unfair. Yours is not shaking at all. I built this tower like this, and when okay. I looked over, this actually blew like this and rolled off the edges. Okay. Winner! I finally win a challenge. She lost the best loser. I finally win. I win. This is a stupid challenge. It was unfair. There was a the win tower. disadvantage. It's like golfing in the wind, and I have like the windy spot, and you don't have anything. Stupid. Okay, Martina. Grumpy. I'm not roll your dice now. Not coming out. Come on. Do it. Roll your dice. Let's see what your punishment is. <gasps> oh, it's gone. <laughs> Can't see it anymore. That works on Spudgy. Let's see. And it lands at six. What is oh, six? No. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six. What does it say? No punishment. That is so lame. That is so freaking lame. Why? Why? You never had a punishment. So done. Simon, people behind you are looking weird. I hate this. I finally won my first challenge, fair and square. I used engineering and my intelligence to help me win that. And then I'm ready for Martina to get a punishment. And then she didn't get a punishment. I want you to stop it! Grumpy! So lame. So. <laughs> I got your hand. Hey, Martina. Seeing as we're going home now, you don't really seem to have a K pop idol for this week, do you? So it looks like I win if you lose! Is that the case? I'm just reach into my bag to get some refreshing green tea out for a second. That oh. is totally not fair. Hyunbin, is that you? Secret Garden, Hyunbin? Did I purchase this green tea bottle when Simon wasn't looking? I sure did. So perhaps some of you clever, clever people might have noticed that we didn't actually go up Namsan Tower. There are a couple reasons for that. Number one, we've been up there three times already. And number two, we're cheap. Yeah, it's gonna cost us a lot of money to go up that tower. We already paid for the cable cars. Plus the observation deck that houses the locks. That's a really beautiful view, Soul. So if you don't have a lot of money, just do what we did. So that's it for this week's edition of Wonderful Adventure Now Korea. Don't forget to vote for your favorite English and for your favorite Korean icon. And don't forget to subscribe for more wanking adventures. And if you guys have any ideas of where you want us to go, leave them in the comment section. Woot. Woot, that's your ending, woot. Poot. Poot, that's not even gonna sound like a bump smack. Shoot. Good? Oh, I didn't even get a real word.